friends. So a lot of you all know about my recent weight loss and a lot of you guys have been asking me to make videos talking about it and I am going to be making more videos but today I wanted to start out by giving you some tips of how to manage your weight during the holidays. Disclaimer, you are all perfect. No one needs to lose weight but if you are interested in maintaining or losing weight during the holidays then these tips would be fabulous for you. Another disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, health professional. Talk to your doctor before starting a diet, all that kind of stuff. My first tip is please don't focus on food this holiday season. I know sometimes when you're in the middle of a weight loss journey, that's kind of all you can think about. And it's kind of like the focus of your whole life. But remember what this season is really about. Spend time with your friends and your family. And honestly, if you overeat one night, then that's fine. If you had a good time, whatever, then just get back on track the next day. It's not a big deal. Don't spend this holiday season dwelling on food. If you're going to some kind of a holiday gathering where you know there'll be food that's maybe not so healthy, then you should eat before you go. I mean, it depends on the event. It depends on the kind of food that'll be there. But eat a healthy snack or even like a salad or a healthy meal to curb your hunger so you won't be tempted to binge and overeat on not so healthy things while you're at your event. Also, if you can, bring a dish to whatever you're going to, whether it's some kind of healthy, low calorie treat for a party or a healthy spin on a casserole for a dinner. If you bring something, then you'll know you'll have at least one thing there that you can eat and not worry about. So if nothing else really fits with your diet plan or you don't really see anything else that you would really feel comfortable eating or want to eat, then you at least have one thing to fall back on. Now, I've lost weight by counting calories, so this next tip is something that has definitely worked for me. If you know you're going to an event, save up your calories for that day so that way you'll have more and be able to enjoy at the event and again not worry so much about food. Say you have like an office Christmas party one evening. More than likely you'll know about that ahead of time so you can eat light throughout the day and then indulge a little bit more in the evening. It seems like a lot of people give out food as gifts especially like candies or cookies and those can be so dangerous to have because someone gives you their really nice Christmas tin of delicious cookies and you just have that sitting in your house ready for you to bake on. I'm totally all in favor for you eating those cookies or that candy and enjoying it. However, do so in moderation. What I would do with something like that is I would, you know, have one or two or have a serving, whatever it is, and then either hide it somewhere or give it away to somebody else. Another thing I've noticed, like at family gatherings and things, women tend to just like congregate in the kitchen. Like some people are preparing the food and everyone else is just in there talking and everyone's just kind of like talking and hanging out and just like nibbling and grazing on the food. But that's a big way to pick up some empty calories. So don't hang out in the kitchen because that is just too tempting. It's just like a binge waiting to happen. And grazing is like the worst, you know, when you're just standing there and just like picking at something gradually because you don't even know how much you're eating and you're gathering all these calories without even really realizing it. Go hang out somewhere else in the house. Be social. Hang out with your friends and family, just not in the kitchen. Also, I know this time of year it's really hard to work out because we're all so busy. And between all the hustle and bustle and the bad weather, it's really hard to find time to work out. But you just have to make time. You have to schedule that time to go to the gym. Or if something like going to the gym isn't really possible in your routine, do some exercise at home. Even while you're watching TV or while you're writing a paper, just take a break get up and do some jumping jacks, some push-ups, some crunches, some planks, whatever you want to do, whatever you like to do. It's just really important that you make time for that this time of year. Well, this next one, this is one of my pet peeves food martyrs. Don't be a food martyr. I used to follow a bunch of weight loss blogs. I don't really anymore because some of them are a little toxic. They're kind of not so good. But I would see people saying, oh, my family had this lovely dinner and all these people were over, but I just went in my room and ate my celery sticks and just didn't eat food and just exiled myself. I've also seen people saying, oh, there was this great networking event at work, but I knew there was going to be food, so I didn't go. That's so bad, you guys. You can't just exist in a little bubble. There's food in the real world, and if you don't learn how to like deal with situations involving food, then you'll never be able to stay on your diet in the real world. Next, take some time for yourself. I know this is such a busy time of the year. It's the end of the year. It's Christmas. It's you know all these holidays, all this stuff happening. Got stuff with your friends, stuff with work, stuff with your family, all kinds of things. You have to buy all these Christmas gifts, get these Christmas cards out. Oh, it's so busy. It's so easy to get so caught up in all those things that you forget about you. And finally, enjoy yourself. Eat those treats that you want. Eat those things you only get once a year in moderation. There's no reason you should eat a whole pie. You don't need to eat all of the things. Just eat one serving of whatever you like. Enjoy it. Eat it in public. Again, 
Don't just take all of the food home and eat it there because you know if it's in your house, that's what's gonna happen. Be out among people. Enjoy the time with your friends and family. And like I said in the beginning, don't focus on food. Christmas is about so much more and don't forget that this holiday season. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing. I hope you're all doing super well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.